Welcome to From Smart Board to Kitchen Table. Here's the great one team, and we're here to talk to you about questions you can ask. This is Ms. Scott, Ms. Barry, Ms. Blackwell, and myself, Ms. Larrier. So today we wanted to share with families and friends and partners and childcare providers what questions that we want to ask in first grade to get students moving from what we call thin questions to thick questions. What are some thin questions, Ms. Barry? So the thin questions that we are recognizing now are any of the questions like who, what, when, where, why, and how. Those are not to say bad questions, but they're not in the intensity, at the intensity level, or rigorous enough for first graders in our school. So we're trying to push our students forward, moving on to more challenging and conversational type questions so that our first graders are ready to move forward in a positive step. So what are some thick questions, Ms. Blackwell? So we want our students to gain a deeper understanding in the text they are reading, but the only way they can do that is by having some critical thinking questions. And some of those questions would go as follows. What if, how did, what might, what character traits describe, and how would you feel if? By asking those questions, it almost places the the student inside the book and then they can then internalize the information and kind of put themselves in the situation. Sometimes they can turn the story around, sometimes they can change the ending. So we want to move our students from literal questioning to inferential questioning. An example that we're going to work on today is from a text that we're using, which is Stella Luna by Janelle Cannon. So Ms. Scott is going to take us through a couple of thick questions with the text. Now, if you're not sure about Stella Luna, it's a, a bat who gets separated from their mother, falls into the nest of a bird's nest, and then has to act like a bird in order to survive. And the lessons that she learns while she's going through this transformation. Ms. Scott. So one thick question that we can ask about this story is, what if Stella Luna did not fall into the bird's nest? What will happen then? Um, we can also ask, what caused? What caused Stella Luna to end up living with the birds? Um, Ms. Barry, what might have happened if Stella Luna did not fall into the bird's nest when she was falling from the sky? If Stella Luna did not fall into this nest, she could have never learned or experienced life as a bird. She may have just remembered or only seen ways of a bat, which is the type of animal she truly is. Now, as she challenges me to that question, it's pushing me to think now, okay, well, in the story, she does fall into the bird's nest. But now I'm thinking, what, what else could have happened? How can I twist this to think outside of the text in the story to push further into what could have happened outside the book. By asking thick questions, we're trying to increase the level of rigor of students' thinking. We're trying to push their conversation to not just answering the thin questions of what, when, and where, but to have the student put themselves into the character's shoes, or in this story, into the character's claws. Thank you very much. This is our edition this week, questions you can ask from smart board to kitchen table. First grade team saying, have a good evening. Bye.